Well, well, well. Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you Monday, 25 November. Looks like it's going to be a quiet day on the release front. We have nothing on the calendar per se. We do have Carney speaking, Bank of England President, 11 a.m. Swiss time. Let's go over some of the charts uh, that are of interest here. I do have to say, uh, not super interesting. I've got two charts that I like, but there's both. The risk reward is tough, uh, certainly on the oil chart. Um, let's just go right to oil here. You see oil here, we, we traded up 57.80, kind of for the third time, and now we are looking at this as a downside pivot, 56.68. All of the headlines over the weekend are now saying oil is in this big bull market, and there's no question oil has gone higher since the 42 lows. Um, we think all of this euphoria is misplaced, and, and we're more on the um, careful of the global recession camp. Germany manufacturing at zero, China in trouble, and uh, the U.S. is being run by the lunatics from the asylum. Uh, this is a concern for us, also considering the supply dynamics that came out last week. Uh, we're just curious why oil's up here, and, and uh, we're looking for ways to express downside. So. We will be looking at this 56.68 level today. Another technical picture that we like is this Euro Yen. This is the four hour chart. You see we're just sideways here. This top here is 125. Let's call it 126. Uh, as far as your top side, you can draw this now. Pretty standard three-pointer and then on the downside we've been talking about this 33 level uh, now for a few days still in play 35 to low last night incredibly uh, so we do feel like this is a break trade now 125 35 um, between 33 and 35 you pick your poison there what else uh, Bitcoin <laughs> let's just throw that up something crazy happened uh, Overnight in Bitcoin went from 4150 down here to 3700. We're still on the same path on Bitcoin. Uh, we're buying dips. We did not get given any at 3000. Um, but you're a dip buyer. You sell 90% of the position after a 10% gain and you leave 10% for the long term hold. Your average on this stuff has to be as close to zero as possible um, because there's going to be some wild ridiculous moves like this one I have no idea what happened but um, just wanted to point it out we're still patiently waiting down at 3000 um, we have our core longs we've sold you know we've done the 90 percent sale so we're not selling any at 4000 or 4100 these are core longs we're going to hold for, you know, sort of like 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, uh, which we think is going to happen eventually. But I'm just pointing this out. If you're a pure technician, this is incredibly bearish. Here's the daily uh, bearish engulfing. Over the weekend, lower liquidity could be stops, could be anything. Uh, but just be aware Bitcoin is on the move. What else is out there? Dollar CAD. Uh, through the 200 day not trading this today uh, but just noticing that we're down through the 200 day so daily close below that is bearish don't like the downside in dollar cad but here we are uh, its counterpart cad yen has been trying this top side we were talking about this when the uh, BOC governor was speaking last week Here's the 200 day in CAD yen 84.64. This will be very telling if we get through that. Uh, again, I don't think we are. Uh, I think dollar yen looks like it's turning lower. You see all these tails here. 
there are stops and there is risk below 110. I do think eventually we'll get this. And what will be the trigger? Maybe the trade deal is the trigger, um, which is obviously ironic and a classic by the news, by the rumor, sell the fact. Um, but they've, this trade story has gone too long. The bullish machinations, uh, when the headlines come out, are getting weaker and weaker, which tells me that uh, the stories run out of energy. So be careful when this news comes out um, and check price uh, and see how the market reacts. That said, here we are uh, in our key level S&Ps, this whole 2800 to 2830. We are sellers here. We printed a 2803 high today. I imagine that's on the open uh, when Trump extended this a week or so. Again, watch price here. I really do think this is going to be running out of energy up here. And we're looking for bearish price maneuvers. Right now there is none. Uh, you can just we're just core short tiny, but when we see some bearish bearish action, uh, we will plunge in. Anyway, that's really all I got today. Euro yen uh, is a real key focus for us, and we'll be looking at that crude downside. Good luck today, everyone. Make some money. I will uh, talk to you tomorrow.